Thanks for being here today on what is truly a monumental day for the city as we break ground on a new indoor aquatic center to replace Lloyd Pool, which that has served our city since 1975. There you go. Like the generation that celebrated its groundbreaking, we all stand here today enthusiastic about the future that this facility holds, not only for our city, but for our region. We recognize that this location will be a new co-anchor of North Main with Bossy Field and the Evansville Otters. We envision how kids of the Dream Center will have new opportunities to learn how to swim and understand the importance of physical fitness. We dream that one of those young aspiring swimmers will be inspired by our city's greatest swimmer of all time, Lily King, and also become an Olympic champion. We'll host swimming and diving meets that our city has never heard of that will bring thousands of visitors to our city. We see seniors use, using the recreational pool for therapy and for recreation. And we can imagine some young, and I mean really young Otters fans, convincing mom and dad that we should splash in the sp spray park before we go in to see a ball game. The future is amazing. And it's appropriate that we have a bright sunny day as we look at the bright future that this facility holds for us. So I was doing a little research in anticipation of this day. I went back and did a computer search. Uh, Dr. Andrew Tharp came to my office in April of 2012. So that means I was in office four months. And he had a great vision for a replacement for Lloyd Poole. And it was grand. But we were still trying to figure out how everything worked. The timing wasn't right. But Dr. Tharp did plant an important seed. He convinced me four months into office that eventually we'd have to replace Lloyd Poole. I don't know why, but it seems like every April since then, there's been some sort of meeting in my office about that. A couple of years ago, we formed a new task force. Many of those people are here today, and we started talking about how to replace Lloyd Poole. And the, easy, the easiest thing to do would be just to replace Lloyd Poole. But we thought we had to be bigger, and we thought we owed it to the community to do something better. Because we wanted to do more than just replace the pool. We wanted to create a new generation of swimmers. We want to grow the Evansville swimming program. And to do that, we had to dream and plan big. And that's what we've done. I'm sure many people here today did not think this day would ever happen. I understand that. We're from the government and we're here to help. <laughs> but this is a day to celebrate. And I want everyone to remember this date, this particular day and time, when we cut a ribbon sometime in the summer of 2021. Everything's a process, and we appreciate that. What's happening at this site is really the result of partnership. Steve Schaefer is gonna talk about our incredible philanthropic corporate community who's making a lot of this happen. Deaconess Health System stepped up right out of the gate and became the naming rights sponsor. And we're forever grateful for that commitment to Sean and James and Pam and everyone involved in the Deaconess family. Our city council, many of whom are represented here today, had to approve the bonding authority. The fact that we brought Lily with us maybe helped convince you to do that. <laughs> but we're grateful. Whether your family gave money, whether your corporation did, or whether you approved bonding authority, this could not happen without everyone working together. And if you look at what's happening in our city today, it's all built on collaboration, and this project is no different. So thank you, thank you, thank you. At this point, it's my pleasure to introduce uh, Dr. James Porter, who's the president of Deaconess Health System. He's a swim parent and obviously has a very vested interest in how this is represented the community. James? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. 
uh, what an exciting day. Uh, and as the mayor said, I'm happy to be here uh, as uh, a representative of Deaconess, a dad of three girls who swim competitively and grew up looking up to a champion like Lily King. And uh, so as from the Deaconess perspective, we couldn't be more pleased uh, to be involved in such an important project for our community. We exist to help people live healthier lives. And swimming is an incredible way for people of many different abilities to compete as individuals and as teams and to just swim for the, for the fun and the health of it. To be able to do that right here in our Midtown Hospitals neighborhood was an incredible opportunity that we couldn't pass up. So we're very, very excited and pleased to have the opportunity to play a key role in this wonderful facility coming to fruition. As the parent of three swimmers, I can tell you that while we have an incredible legacy of swimming in Southwest Indiana, we have great opportunity for even more. And we have been held back in many ways, as Dr. Tharp and others pointed out, by the quality of the facilities that we've had. We know that kids are attracted to places that are fun and exciting and um, nice places to, to pr participate in their sport. And we really haven't had that for a long time here in Evansville. For the rest of the community, there's going to be incredible leisure opportunity right here uh, to enjoy the facility, um, and maybe they'll get interested in swimming too. We know that in southwest Indiana, we have the opportunity to be competitive with other larger cities in the state for swimming at the high school level, at the club level, um, and then certainly the opportunity to produce uh, world and Olympic champions. I'm not going to talk much longer because I'm standing between you right now and the great Lily King, one of the best breaststrokers in the history of the world. She's a two-time Olympic gold medalist, an eight-time NCAA champion, and she holds four world records, and she's from right here in River City. So what an incredible legacy. <laughs> Lily has created for our community, for the youth of our community, and certainly someone for all of us to admire and look up to. So it's my distinct pleasure to introduce to you two-time Olympic gold medalist, Lily King. I think you guys hit all the notes there. Uh, don't have much to say anymore. Although I am freezing, so I'm thankful for my new Deaconess Aquatic Center towel. Um, that's something I never thought I would have. Um, <laughs> but. You know, growing up, I started swimming at Lloyd Pool when I was eight years old, and I'm gonna be honest, it looks about the same as it did when I was eight years old, <laughs> which is not a good thing, but um, I remember my mom going to a meeting about uh, getting a new pool when I was probably 10, and here I'm standing here at the groundbreaking finally at 22, almost 23 years old, and we're finally here. So um, really, really thankful to, you know, be a small part in this project. I know there's so many other people um, who have put so much more into this than I have. Thank you to Mayor Winicky and Dr. Porter and Steve. Um, I mean, you guys have been awesome. And I think mostly this pool has been um, just a vision for the future of Evansville. I mean, I I think we, we want to build a legacy that's bigger than the one we started on. Um, and I know most of the people on the task force are parents of childhood friends. Um, they are so involved in this community and, and just want to leave it better than we found it. So uh, super thankful for that and just really glad to be here. I mean, we made it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, that's great. I get to follow a gold medalist and an Olympian. So uh, Steve Schaefer. Oh, well, no. <laughs> Uh, I have the simple task of recognizing the, the Aquatics Task Force and thanking some of our sponsors. Uh, can all the, the, the members of the Aquatics Task Force raise their hand? Let, let's give them a huge round of applause. Yeah, good, good job. Uh, just so you know, the task force had its first meeting in June of 2016. It took this long uh, to, to get here today. Uh, they went and visited other cities, they researched uh, designs, uh, sought feedback from the community, um, and attended workshops with USA Swimming. All of this work was compiled into today's announcement. And um, we also want to thank all of the donors that have uh, come to the table and truly made this a public-private partnership. Um, 
I think I, I see a bunch of them in the audience and and I have them uh, we have the list of donors uh, on the the program but I want to specifically mention Deaconess for coming to the table they were really the impetus of getting our our, our fundraising started uh, Barry Global Vectoran uh, the city of Evansville the Convention Visitors Bureau the EVSC was a huge partner Bill Bussing uh, Dr. Andrew Tharp uh, the Dan and Kim Herman family Robbie Kent and the uh, Evansville Parks Foundation. We simply cannot thank you enough for coming to the table and making this a reality. So thank you very much and let's have a groundbreaking. Okay, two pieces. Uh, one, I wanna thank Jeff Justice and the team at Hafer uh, because I, I will tell you one thing, if you have a room full of people who are interested in an aquatic center, you have a room full of different ideas. And Jeff and his team have taken all those ideas that we've heard about for two and a half years now and uh, put it together in phenomenal plans. You see the rendering on the board behind Lily. Uh, it, is, it will be a, a really great facility, Jeff. Thank you for your patience and understanding. Uh, the other thing, don't worry about this playground equipment. It's, not, it's just gonna be relocated. It's not gonna go, it's just moving. It's not gonna be torn down. And the other bit of good news is I will not, not be driving on this thing here today. So Brian Holtz, our executive director of the Parks and Recreation Department, is going to call people up. He's got the, uh, we're going to do groups, we're going to do groundbreaking in groups and photographs. Uh, donors, city council members, Jeff, uh, Brian's going to call you up and we'll do like, I think, three sets, maybe, is that right? Four sets. So listen to Brian's instructions. Thanks again for being here.